Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What an awesome and powerful word from Minister Shawnee. And I know the word that went forth from the other speakers, the the man of God and the woman of God was awesome and powerful and, and blessed his children. Thank you, Evangelist Linda, for your testimony as well. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, gracious Heavenly Father, I come humbly before your holy throne, clothing myself with humility, giving you thanks for your holy and powerful word, Father God, that you're going to speak to all of us today. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I pray, Father God, that the holy angels will go forth, the ministering angels will go forth and minister to each person that is listening to this word now and even after the program is done, Father God. That their hearts will be open, that their minds will be open, that their eyes will be open, that their ears will be open, that their spirit will be open to hear what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As I was just, even uh, last night, when I was just laying down, resting, and asking God what woman did he wanted me to talk about today, to share with all of his children. And the Holy Spirit gave me Rahab. Rahab was known as a harlot, a prostitute. She was considered a heathen. She was considered an individual who did much evil. But as you listen to this holy word, you're going to see how God used Rahab mightily for his glory. How God himself changed the heart of Rahab to do good in his eyes according to the wisdom of God. Now the title today is Warrior Women. And if I may, the Holy Spirit gave me a sub subtitle. Wisdom while in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again. Wisdom while in the midst of the storm. And as I pray the scriptures. And speak God's word. Let it soak in into your spirit. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Allow the word of God to touch your heart. Allow it to encourage you. Allow it to give you joy. And know that you have the victory. Every woman warrior that knows she's a, Lord, a warrior has a victory. Every woman who doesn't know that she is a warrior for the Lord, you have the victory. Thus saith the Lord. Now the scriptures that Abba Father has given me today through his precious Holy Spirit, I'm going to give you the scriptures. Please write them down and go back and review them and pray and meditate and study them for yourself. It's Joshua chapter 2, Joshua chapter 6, verses 1 through 11, verses 15 through 17, verses 20 through 25, Matthew 1 through 5. I'm coming from the book of wisdom, which is uh, part of the apocryphy, but I'm using the New Jeru Jerusalem Bible. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 through 7, and Matthew chapter 21 through 31. Hallelujah! Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, understand something about Rahab. She was a sinner. She was considered a heathen. She did not know the law. I want you to hold on to that. She was a sinner, and she did not know the the law. Let's go to Joshua chapter 2. And the word of the Lord reads, And Joshua the son of Nun sent out a Shittim, Shittim, two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came into an harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thy house, for they be come to search out all the country. Now understand, at this point, in this situation, the king of Jericho commanded and beckoned Rahab to bring forth the men that had entered into the house. 
So she was being persecuted and she was under a severe threat. And if you read uh, uh, in the Old Testament how kings handled citizens when they were disobedient, it didn't fare well for a lot of them. Let's go forth. Verse 4 says, And the woman took the two men and hid them and said thus, There came men unto me, but I was not whence they were. At this point, Rahab decided that she was going to ignore the king, but hide these men. And we're going to find out why she hid these two men. Verse 5, And it came to pass about the time of shutting of the gate, when it was dark that the men went out, whither the men went, I will not pursue after them quickly, for ye shall overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof of the house, and hid them with the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order upon the roof. And the men pursued after them the way to Jordan unto the forest. And as soon as they which pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. And before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the roof. And pay attention, the Lord says, listen. And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord have given you the land. And that your terror is fallen upon us. And that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you. When ye came out of Egypt, and what ye did unto the kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Now therefore I pray you, Swear unto me by the Lord, since I have showed you kindness, that ye will also show kindness unto my father's house, and give me a true token, and that ye will save alive my father, and my mother, and my brethren, and my sisters, and all that they have, and deliver our lives from, from death. And the men answered her, Our life for yours, if ye utter not this our business, and it shall be when the Lord have given us the land that we will deal kindly and truly with thee. How did Rahab know to do the will of God for his glory? And what Abba Father wants to share with all of his children today. The women and also the men as well. That wisdom is the key principle that's going to help you in your walk with God. That's going to protect you as you walk with God. That's going to keep you in the midst of the storm. Now wisdom, the wisdom of God. What God does and how we get to a place in our relationship with God. He first has to give us his wisdom. So what God does for his children, he pours down his wisdom first. And then he will give us a revelation of what happens. The Holy Spirit, he will quicken God's sons and daughters, that warrior women, to receive a revelation that opens the spiritual eyes. Something that was never disclosed before. And then when we receive the revelation, then we have the knowledge of God. And so with the knowledge of God, the Holy Spirit will start to provide facts, principles, and give us a clear and certain mental perception. Now think about this, a clear and mental perception. And going back to Joshua chapter 2 verse 9. Says, and she said unto the men, I know that the Lord had given you the land and that your terror is fallen upon us and that all that the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt and what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side, Jordan, Sihon, and Og, whom ye utters destroyed. So Rahab 
had a clear and a mental perception of what is coming to her peoples. And God gave her the wisdom. He gave her the revelation. And he, he gave her the knowledge. And he also gave her the truth. And the Holy Spirit will verify God, who God is, will verify who your Lord and Savior Jesus is, will verify who the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, and the infallible truth of God's Holy Word. And so when the wisdom of God comes down and you receive the wisdom of God, revelation is unlocked, knowledge is unlocked, truth is unlocked, and then comes the instruction of the Lord. The Holy Spirit will guide you with your mindset, behaviors, and attitude. It'll tell you what to do. The Holy Spirit will tell you what to do in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And let's go to verse 14 again. And the men answered her, Our life for yours, if ye utter not this our business, and it shall be when the Lord hath given us the land, that we will deal kindly and truly with thee. Then she let them down by a cord through the window, for her house was upon the town wall, and she dwelt upon the wall. And she said unto them, Get ye to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you, and hide yourselves there three days. Until the pursuers be returned and afterward may ye go your way. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that something? Here she is giving the two men, the two Israelites instructions on what to do. And that instructions come from our father from his wisdom. So he gave her wisdom to speak words of utterance to tell them what to do. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Verse 17 says, And the men said unto her, We will be blameless of this thine oath which thou hast made I swear, behold, when we come into the land, thou shalt bind this line of scarlet thread in the window which thou didst let us down by, and thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brother and all thy father's household home unto thee. And that shall be that whosoever shall go out of the doors of the house in the street, his blood shall be upon his head, and we will be guiltless, and whosoever shall be with thee in the house, his blood shall be on our head, if any hand be upon him. And if thou utter this thou our business, then we will be quit of thine oath, which thou hast made us to swear. And she said, According unto your word, so be it. And she sent them away, and they departed, and listened. This is what she did immediately. And she bound the scarlet line in the window she was obedient to the instructions that was given to her now listen god says that my wisdom is supreme you are my warrior woman i can use you for my glory but you have to make a choice to choose the wisdom of god the truth of god to receive my revelation and knowledge and truth and instructions hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord and and today's message was so uh fitting and this title was so fitting and important because there's many women warriors who don't know that they're true women warriors of the lord People have put them down. People have discounted them. People have th tossed them to the curb. People have said, you know what? You're a prostitute. You are no good. You're a drug addict. You are no good. You're an alcoholic. You are no good. You're an adulterer. You are no good. You are a fornicator. You are no good. You're a, a homosexual. You are no good. The devil is a liar. The God says, you are a woman warrior. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just like I gave my daughter Rahab the, the, the prostitute at the time when she was in her sin and gave her my wisdom. I turned her around. She accepted the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the revelation of God, the truth of God, and she received the instructions of God, and she was obedient unto the word of the Lord. And she was a woman that stood in the gap for her family. How many woman warriors out there that have people have judged and misinterpreted and put down and made them feel like they are nothing, that they are not important, that they their situation can't change. And, and God is saying, you know, your situation, it can change irrespective of what you are doing. And the reason why 
Rahab was able to do what she was able to do for the glory of God. There was a heart change. There was true repentance. God touched her heart. And she made the right decision. To help Abba Father. For his glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Verse 22 says. And they went and, and came unto the mountains. And abode there three days until the pursuers were returned. And the pursuers sought them throughout all the way but found them not. So the two men returned and descended from the mount and passed over and came to Joshua the son of Nun. And told him all things that befell them. And they said unto Joshua, Truly the Lord hath delivered into our hands all the land. For even all the inhabitants of the country do faint because of us. Do you not realize women daughters of the most high God. Jesus is your Lord and Savior. He's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God is on your side. God says, stand up, daughter. Shake it off, daughter. You are not a prostitute. You are not a lesbian. You are not an adulterer. You are not a fornicator. You are not an alcoholic. You are not a drug cutter. You are not a bad mother. You are not a bad wife. You don't deserve to be beaten. He says you are something. You are important. Seek me. Seek my face. Let me use you for your glory. And we as children of God, those of us that know the Lord and love the Lord and walk with God. And those women warriors that are already women warriors and those men warriors that are already men warriors. Don't be afraid to go talk to God's sons and daughters in the street because they need a seed planted into them. They need the power and authority of God, the wisdom of God. They need the revelation, the knowledge and truth and instruction of God to be activated in their life so they can be the women warriors. So the men can be the men warriors so God can use them for his glory to help out whomever he wants to help out. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go to Joshua chapter 6. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is awesome and Jesus is phenomenal. In Joshua chapter 6 verse 1 through verse 1 reads, Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. Hallelujah. The devil is trembling right now. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Verse 2 says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. And seven priests shall bear shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horn and the seventh day ye shall come past the city seven times and the priest shall blow with the trumpets and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet all the people shall shout with a great shout and the wall of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall send up every man straight before him now understand this the enemy that has that wall around you. And that warrior woman. What God has given you. That hasn't been tapped. Haven't, that hasn't been opened yet. The enemy doesn't want you to get to that point. Of being that warrior woman. See Rahab. She was a warrior woman. And as you notice. When, I, when, when the reading was go forth in chapter 2. She said I pray. She was an intercessor. A powerful intercessor. And she received a powerful breakthrough. For herself. And her entire family. Verse 6 says. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests. And said unto them. Take up the ark of the covenant. And let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns. Before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people. Pass on and come past the city. And let him that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass when Joshua had spoke unto the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns passed on before the Lord and blew with the trumpets and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priests that blew with the trumpets and the re-reward came after the ark 
the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And Joshua had commanded the people saying, Ye, ye shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice. Neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout. Then shall ye shout. So God is very strategic against the works of darkness. Every principalities, every powers, every spiritual wickedness, hybrid, every rulers of darkness in this world. And every evil enemy that's coming in the are coming against God in regards to you, that precious daughter of his, that warrior woman, that precious son of his, that, that man warrior. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So God, when he, he used Rahab, that was a strategy because God knew what the enemy was going to try to do against Israel. He's going to try to block and stop his will and his purpose and destiny for the children of Israel so they could get to the promised land. And God dropped the enemy in his back. He said, okay, devil, I'm going to show you. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my daughter. She is my daughter who's, who's acting as a prostitute who's doing evil and wicked. And I know that she's going to turn from her wicked ways and she's going to say yes to me. And she's going to allow me to use her glory. And I'm going to have mercy upon her and her family. I'm going to have grace upon her and her family. And I'm going to love her and her family. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Verse 11 says, So the ark of the Lord come past the city, going about at once. And they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. And seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of the Lord went on continue and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men went before them. But the re reward came after the ark. Of the Lord, the priest going on and blowing with trumpets. And listen, this is the first day. And the second day, they can pass the city once and return into the camp. So they did six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about, about the dawning of the day. And come past the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day, they come past the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the, when the priest Blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. I'm going to say that again. Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. And the city shall be a curse, even it and all that are therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. How many women warriors that are out there that God wants to use for his glory to save their whole household or even a whole city or even a whole nation like he used Esther to save a whole nation. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And ye in any wise keep yourselves from the accursed thing lest you make yourselves a curse when you take of the accursed thing and make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it. But all the silver and gold and, and vessels of brass and iron are concentrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So God wants us to pay attention to these next five scriptures. Verse 20 says, so the priest, so the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpets and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shot it with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city. Every man straight before him and took they, they took the city and they utterly destroyed all that was in the city. Both man and woman, young and old and ox and sheep and ass with the edge of sword. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, go into the hardest house and bring out thence the woman. And all that she had, Rahab, bring out that royal woman, Rahab, and all that she had, her household. And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and her brother and all that she had. And they brought out all her kindred and left them without the camp of Israel. And they burnt the city with fire. And all that was therein, only the silver and the gold, and the vessels of brass and of iron, they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. And Joshua saved Rahab, hard and alive, and her father's household, and all that she had. And she dwelt in Israel, even unto this day, because she hid, because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. But listen. 
all of 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 the walls of Jericho fell, but her household was still set. Her house was still standing. Hallelujah! Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah! So don't discount yourself of who you are in Christ and Jesus and God because God can use you no matter where you are in his place and he wants to send his wisdom to you to help you so that you can receive his revelation hallelujah hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord so that you can hear something that he's been trying to disclose to you so it can be released to you he wants to give you his knowledge he wants to give you facts he wants to teach you his principles and then he wants to give you the truth of who he really is how powerful he is your heavenly father how awesome and loving your Lord and Savior Jesus is and how awesome a teacher and a comfort is the Holy Spirit and how infallible the word of God is for you for you hallelujah blessed be and then he wants to give you instructions that warrior woman you are a warrior woman mighty warrior woman for the glory of God hallelujah remember that those of you whatever you are struggling that whatever sin you are struggling you are still a mighty warrior woman for the glory of of God man of God sons of God you still a mighty warrior man for the glory of God just allow the wisdom of God to come into your heart to come into your mind to open your spiritual eyes hallelujah to open your spiritual ears to open your heart so that you can receive revelation knowledge truth and the instructions of the Lord hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord what a awesome God what a awesome God we have what a awesome Lord and Savior we have hallelujah now I want to bring to your attention that in the context of the story in, in, in the beginning in Joshua 2 Rahab she did tell a lie she wasn't truthful she did lie to the king but she did it in ignorance and why did she do it in the ignorance and she did not know the law she did not know anything about the Ten Commandments so don't this count anybody that you meet and encounter their spiritual eyes their spiritual heart their spiritual ease their spiritual soul their spiritual and they just need to be enlightened about the about our heavenly father about our lord and savior jesus about the holy spirit the ruach hakodesh about the word of god they just need to hear the truth of god god wants to use his children to activate that warrior woman that activate that warrior man for his glory so that they can receive what he has given us and we must remember as children of god where we were when we were doing wicked and, and sinning in the eyes of god hallelujah so don't discount anybody don't say that that they're not good enough to do the work and the will of God hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord now we're going to go to the book of wisdom and if you don't have um, uh, the apocryphy or if you don't have um, the New Jerusalem Bible uh, or, or you don't have a Bible with the apocryphy you can go into you can uh, go do a Google search and look for the book of wisdom now I'm going to come from the book of wisdom chapter 7 verses 22 and 30 and listen to what God says about wisdom for within her is a spirit intelligent holy unique manifold subtle mobile incisive unsullied lucid and vulnerable benevolent shrewd irresistible beneficent friendly to human beings steadfast dependable unperturbed Almighty, all surveying, penetrating, all intelligent, pure, and most subtle spirits. For wisdom is quicker to move than any motion. She is so poor, she pervades and permeates all things. She is a breath of the power of God. I'm going to pray that again. She is a breath of the power of God. Pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty. So nothing impure impure can find its way into I'm going to say that again she is a breath of the power of God pure emanation of the glory of the almighty so nothing impure can find its way into her for she is a reflection of the eternal light untarnished mirror of God's active power an image of his goodness although she is alone she can do everything herself unchanging she renews the world and generation after generation passing into holy souls she makes them into God's friends and prophets 
For God loves only those who dwell with wisdom. She is indeed more splendid than the sun. She outsides all the constellations. Compared with light, she takes first place. For light must yield to night, but against wisdom, evil cannot prevail. I'm going to say that again. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. For light must yield to night, but, but against wisdom, evil cannot prevail. The wisdom of God, evil cannot prevail against the powerful wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now let's go to Proverbs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 1. Verses 1 through 7. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So Proverbs chapter 1. Verse 1 through 7. Says the Proverbs of Solomon. The son of David. King of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction. To perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom. Judgment and judgment. And equity. To give subtly to the simple. To the young man. Knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. To understand, hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord, a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. I'm going to pray that again. I'm going to say it again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Now Rahab, Rahab, she she had the fear of the Lord. And God's knowledge began to come to her. His truth began to come to her. The revelation began to come to her because she accepted the wisdom of God. She made a choice that very day. When the king beckoned and summoned her to loose those two men. She made a choice right then and there. Oh no, I'm going to follow the God of the Israelites. She made a choice. So many people when they discuss and, and give this story. It's about Rahab the prostitute. But I'm going to say Rahab the war woman warrior. Rahab the repentant servant of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible says that all of us have all fallen short and come all fallen short of the glory of the Lord. And we must do our best to elevate the women out there in the world today. We must elevate the women that are in churches in the world today. We must elevate our daughters. We must elevate, help to elevate the wives. We must help to elevate the grandchildren, the granddaughters. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There are many women and the Holy Spirit really put this in my heart. There's many women that that. Are not going forth as a woman warrior. God gave many women the gift of intercessory prayer. Powerful, powerful, powerful gifts. Powerful anointings. Hallelujah. To break the bands of yokeness. And had Rahab decided to go the other way. It would have been very, very negative And bad for the children of Israel. So God is saying today. What are you going to do today? And beyond. As my Warrior woman daughter to go and help activate the other warrior women daughters that don't know who they are. The other warrior women that are in ministries that are in leadership or the husbands. They're not allowing the woman warrior, their warrior woman warrior wives. And they're saying that first lady. No, God says, no, you're a woman warrior first and foremost for the glory of God. So every first lady. Is a warrior woman for the glory of God. And irrespective or not. If you're in ministry or if you're not. Get beyond the titles. Warrior woman for the glory of God. Whatever mistake you have made in the past. God is speaking to his daughters. Whatever you have done. Repent. I have forgiven you. I want to use you for my glory. You are my warrior woman for, for my glory. I want to use you like I use Rahab to bring forth deliverance for, for you, for your family, for your children, for your, for, your, for your husbands, for someone else's husband, for a, a church, a ministry, for a city, for a nation. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So remember Rahab, not as the prostitute, 
but as a warrior woman for the glory of God. Who used to be a sinner, who used to be a heathen, who didn't know about sin, but accepted our father, the God of the Israelites, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, after she had an encounter with these two men. She chose God. And she realized that God was the true and living God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I admonish and challenge each and every, including myself, women warriors, to do better and to go and speak to a young lady, to speak to a first lady, to speak to our co-workers, so that what God has given that daughter, and even the men as God leads you, but what God has given that, that daughter of his, that precious daughter, whom he loves, that warrior woman, what he's put in them to use for his glory. Let us go forth for the glory of God and reach his daughters all over the world so that the warrior woman in them can be activated for his glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen and amen.